you got three versus six with Alabama going to Tennessee. How about the Vols and their ability to maybe just say, hey, you were all talking about Georgia and Alabama and Texas A&M and Alabama and everybody's paying attention to Brian Kelly showing up in LSU. How about us? Do you think Tennessee's got the real stuff here, Joel? What do you think? I mean, I can't believe, like, you just don't make a living (laughs) picking or betting against Nick Saban, right? (laughs) Like, that's just, it's so dumb. And all week I've been sitting here, I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? But the bottom line is, I think it's a bad matchup for Alabama, Rich. Like, I can't. I can't get it out of my head. Here's the reason why. Okay. It's because even if Bryce Young plays, which I think he's going to, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be really important for Alabama to be able to run the ball to take some of the pressure off of Young as he's coming back from injury. He can't just be Superman for the entirety of the game. And that's all well and good. And you can say, well, they're dominant in the run game. Look at what they did against Texas A&M a week ago. 51 rushes, five and a half per carry. Yeah, that's great. Texas A&M is the last-ranked rush defense in in the SEC. They're about to face the second-best rush defense in the SEC. So I think it's going to be much more difficult for them to run the ball, which is going to be more in line with what we saw, you know, for the first three quarters against Texas. Um, They also, Alabama, they're not great on the road, which is a bit surprising, but this is now kind of a two-year history of this. Last year, in their first road game against Florida, they barely eked that one out. They lost to Texas A&M, went to four overtimes against an Auburn team that I didn't think was very good. This year, that close game, a one-point win against Texas, and really it was Bryce Young and, and some missed calls that allowed them to win that game. So they're not great on the road. This, this environment is going to be the toughest of any of those. Neyland is going to be on fire. And – The last thing would be if you're going to beat Alabama, you better create some explosive uh, passing plays and opportunities. And there's only one team in the country that is more explosive throwing the ball down the field than Tennessee. Tennessee has the second most 30-yard completions in the country, only to Ohio State, who we all know is the best offense in the country. So this is a bad matchup for Alabama. And even though they're favored by seven, and I feel like an absolute crazy person, I think Tennessee wins the game. Joel Klatt, you know what you've just done, Joel? You could say what you've just done is cogent, sound, heartfelt analysis. Uh, But what you've just dispensed really is yummy rat poison. That's what you just did. (laughs) Yummy (laughs) rat poison is what you just, you could term it, those three words. Yummy rat poison is what Nick Saban might call what you just dispensed. I, uh, you know? I hear you, but, but <laughs> for him, it's like beautiful rat poison because it's headed in the other direction. It's the yum, that's what he it's calls like yummy poison. rat poison. The rat poison he doesn't right. like is you saying Alabama is going to win this thing by 40 or, you know, that, that sort of, that, but you just dispense the yummy rat poison, man. Uh, and, and you're right. You, you can't make a living betting against or, uh, you know, Nick Saban or, or saying that Nick's, you know, on the wrong end of a, of a good mat of a, of a matchup. Uh, when it's not involving Georgia, but you look at Tennessee and you see them, and you're 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 wondering why not? Like this is one of those why not now games. Why not? Well, and, why not and now? I, I personally think watching Hendon Hooker, I think he's going to be yeah. top three or four pick. Huh. You know, when we're in Kansas City. Okay. Rich. All right. Look at you.